This is motor planning. Have you ever tried to use your non-dominant hand to hold a pen and write a sentence? Or to button up your shirt with just one hand? How did it feel? Frustrating maybe? Foreign? Possibly too hard? Brand new? Maybe your child might be experiencing the same feelings when they try to play with a new toy or move their body in a new way. Motor planning is the ability to plan and complete a new movement or skill. When we plan how to move our bodies, we have to think, hmm, what is it that I want to do? We need to plan, how will I do it? And then we need to do, can I make my body do that? Children who have difficulty with motor planning may avoid new toys or activities, make the same mistakes over and over, possibly look clumsy, or prefer less active play. Your occupational therapy team has good news. You can help your child learn new movement skills and learn how to play with new toys. Let's imagine that our friend Brielle wants to learn how to string beads. There are many things that Brielle needs to do. She needs to think. I want to put the beads on the string. Then she needs to come up with a plan. I will pick up the bead, put the string in the hole, and then pull the string. Finally, she needs to make her hands move the way that she wants them to and string the bead. Hey, Brielle, you want to do some beading? Yeah. Okay, you beat. Here. Oh, this is a complicated toy, and Brielle is having difficulty. So how could we help? Hmm, there are several things that we can do to make this easier for Brielle to learn. The first is demonstration. She could watch her mom bead. Second is verbal cues. Mom could give simple verbal cues and use the same words every single time they play with this activity. Mom can break the activity down into small steps. Mom could then guide her through the movement using hand over hand so that she experiences what it feels like. By playing with this toy over and over again, Brielle begins to feel the actions become more automatic. Now let's practice again with our beads. Watch carefully to see how mom demonstrates the activity and mom also gives her verbal cues by using the same language with every small step. Okay, Brielle, we're gonna do some beading. Watch, you're gonna pick it up, put it in and Pull! You try. Pick it up. Put it in. You can see that after mom used demonstration and verbal cues, Brielle has been able to think about the task and she started a plan. She is still having some difficulty with parts of the activity. What else could mom try? Watch how mom uses hand over hand support. When mom holds Brielle's hand and helps her to do the task, she is able to feel the movement. Mom also breaks the activity down into smaller steps by starting the beating and letting Brielle participate in the final step. This way she is setting her up to succeed. Occupational therapists like to call this the just right challenge. We are challenging her just enough. She will succeed and she won't get frustrated. Okay, Brielle, we're going to beat. Pick it up, put it in, and you pull. Good job. Your turn. With lots of repetition, Brielle has success. Watch how Brielle is now able to complete the final step of the activity all on her own. 
because mom gave her many opportunities to practice pulling, it has now become automatic. Over time, she will also learn to put it in. Really, we're going to do some beating. Watch. Pick it up, put it in, and you pull. Pull! Here are some other tips to think about when using these principles of motor planning to teach your child a new movement or play skill. Work on developing good body awareness first. Please watch our body awareness video for more information. Use the same words every time. For example, each time they played the beating game, mom said, pick it up, put it in, and pull. Soon Brielle might repeat these words to herself, and this will help her know what she should do at each step. You also might want to use a visual schedule with each step of the activity in separate pictures. Please see our visual schedule video for more information. This week, think about what toy or movement skill does my child show interest in but is having a hard time learning? I can demonstrate it for them, give them verbal cues, using the same words each time. Think about all the small steps and have them work on the last one. Give them hand over hand support if they need it and give them lots of practice with the same toy. Music